Hi everyone, this is Rachel and I'm here with another process video. Today I'm working with the add-on kit from the Scraptastic Club from I believe it was April that I purchased at a Scraptastic sale and it's made up of quite a few original papers from Scraptastic and then some of the life documented line from Simple Stories Snap. I'm working mainly with the papers from the Scraptastic Club, and I'm going to start with this journaling card page that I really, really like the majority of the things on both sides, so I'm being very careful where I cut. Now, usually I have a sketch, but I don't happen to have a sketch today. I am working with one vertical photo, so I thought I could be, I would be able to just do a very quick, if you hear any little noises, sorry, it's my cat, um, do a really quick, very basic, you know, layer a couple of pattern papers behind the one vertical photo layout. So the first thing I'm trying to do is get this journaling card that has a smiley face at the top. That's what I want to use for my journaling. And I'm also going to use the branding strip in this layout. So I want to go ahead and get that set aside so I don't accidentally do something to it. I'm going to actually use both of these pieces of cardstock. I'm going to do an offset design with the yellow as the main page and then a peak of the craft at the bottom and left hand sides. I absolutely adore this sketchy chevron, which is funny because I do not work with a lot of primary colors. I prefer, you know, the pink aqua coral thing that's really popular right now, but a lot of my niece's pictures have primary colors from when she's little and I'm trying to go back and scrap a little bit of those at a time. So this kit actually worked really, really well for me. Excuse me, my cat's about to step on my laptop. Let me get her down. Sorry. All right, back to the layout. So I'm going ahead and cutting out all of my paper first and I'm getting this uh, craft offset piece cut out and then I'm counting to make sure it's 12 inches across so I know exactly where I need to place it and how much of the craft is going to be visible. And that's where I'm going to put that branding strip. And I'm going to go ahead and mount the photo on the rest of the craft to make a border for it. Now, if you're a, a subscriber of mine and you pay attention to what I do, uh, you'll notice that lately I've been scrapbooking photos more with a white border than I used to. Probably no one has ever noticed this except me because, you know, it's my layouts. Um, I put an order through Persnickety Prints and apparently I ordered them with the white border <laughs> instead of without the white border, which is actually what I prefer, but <laughs> I was not going to go through the rigmarole of trying to reorder them. I, and I'm sure they would have been incredibly nice and redid them for me. They're, they're a great company, but I just, you know, it's like, it was my mistake. And if I really don't like the white border, I can always just cut it off. No big deal. So when I was layering these up, I realized I could kind of post it so I could cut that one other journaling card out of that blue paper I'm using from the journaling card paper. And I really, I really loved almost every single one. I actually like, you know, it was ordered from a kit so and from a sale of a kit, so I'm quite sure there's absolutely none of this left. So I was like, oh man, I really, really wish I came with two. <laughs> Uh, I don't say that a huge, huge amount, and I don't buy two of one thing unless I absolutely love the majority of the journaling cards on the other side. So now you're going to watch me go through every doily color I own <laughs> to try to figure out which doily color I should use. So while I'm doing that, let's talk about the photo. So this is a picture of my niece at six months. I was not living with them at this point. I did pick her up from her daycare once or twice a week when her mom had to work late. So this is actually a picture taken by one of the daycare workers. To get her to go to sleep, she had to be bored to sleep. So they would sit her in the swing and they would not make eye contact with her, which sounds 
horrible, but as someone who babysat her as a small baby, it's absolutely true. If you paid attention, if she could make contact with you and coo at you, and she would not go to sleep. And to this day, if there's a movie on, like all of her cousins, like when they go on vacation in the summer, they would put on a movie and all the kids would fall asleep, except Noelle, who would just stay awake until the credits rolled and then she'd go to sleep it's like if there's like so the rule became they could only watch a movie that she had seen three or four times because otherwise she just wouldn't go to sleep till like midnight and be a bear the next day all right so anyway so they would put her in this swing to get her to go to sleep and they, they wouldn't like abandon her or anything they just wouldn't look at her so you had to not look at her not talk to her not just let her rock herself to sleep um you know so it's just very funny so, okay, anyways, while I was telling the story, I went ahead and I'm looking at these stickers from the Simple Stories Life Documented Snap Collection, and I grabbed that little file folder tab, and I put that on the photo, and then I grabbed this word that says fabulous, because she really does look fabulous in her, her little hat and sunglasses, and then I grabbed those three arrow stickers that are in a wood grain that kind of mimic the sketchy chevron in the bright colors and then I'm going to grab that camera sticker and I'm gonna look because I know there's camera paper and I didn't know if there are bigger cameras on the paper but there weren't because I would have preferred to have something slightly larger but there wasn't anything so we went with what we had now here's the thing yes I could have gone into my stash and probably found something larger but I would have taken more time so that's why I like working with like little kits I put together myself or kits that I pre-buy like this one so it makes it just makes the process go by a little faster. So these are transparent stars that I got in a freckled fawn kit. And then that one big star that's kind of a creamy color with the blue outline, that's from Jelly Bean Soup from the, I think it's called Yellow Saffron Soup. And then the word stickers are from Bella Boulevard. And I, I one of a very small file of mine got corrupted, so you miss kind of me placing those. But other than that, I didn't do anything else right now. Oh, I did add those Studio Calico wood veneer chevrons. So that's what you missed. I didn't know what happened to it. It, it loaded, but then when I went to like put it in this video, nothing happened. So it's a very, very small part that you ended up missing. So I go ahead and cut it down to 12 by 12, and now I'm going to add the title, and this is an L Studio Yellow Alpha that came with the add-on kit that I bought. And I'm going to put the first couple letters down, and then we're going to skip to the end because this took quite a while because they're pretty small letters, and I was putting it on a doily, which is pretty uh, delicate. So the title is very aptly called Swing to Sleep, and I did not fill out the journaling on here because... I actually want my housemate to like dictate it to me. I'll write it down because she doesn't want <laughs> she doesn't want to ruin my layout, which is hilarious. She wouldn't ruin my layout by writing it down herself. But she's like, you're better at getting things to fit, which is not not true. So I'm adding these enamel arrows from a freckled fawn kit, and then I'm also adding some enamel dots from the Simple Stories Life Documented that came with this kit as well. I just wanted to mention, I ended up canceling my freckled fawn kits. I got them, I think I got them for three months, two or three months. And it's not that I didn't like them, it's just that, oh my goodness, that was a lot of washi. Whew, that was a lot of washi. I was like, I can't get washi every month, I'll die. So I have these mini Heidi Swap color shines from Michael. So I add that in navy, and then I'm going to show you some close-ups because so that's going to finish off my layout. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day, everyone. Flick me a thumbs up if you can, and I will see you soon with another process video. Bye!